Okay. All right. We're going. All right. Hello, everybody out there in internet land, and welcome to the Monday weekly meeting of the IPFS Docs and Developer User Experience Working Group. My name is Jessica, and I am your official, unofficial, sick as a dog host this week. So I may turn the video off. Don't be disturbed. Um, it's for your own good. So uh, the purpose of this meeting um, is to more or less walk through our progress against our OKRs for the year. Um, is, someone, is someone who That's isn't Terry, I think. Should be, oh, is that you, Terry? Right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so the purpose of the meeting is to walk through OKRs and our progress against them as such. That is how the notes um, for this document are set out. Um, the link is in the chat, but um, I shall also share my screen if I can find it. And we can follow along in the document together. All right. Uh, so first of all, um, please add your names, which you have. That's awesome. Hooray. Um, and um, you know, the most important thing about this meeting is welcome. Are you John or are you Johnny? What do you prefer? Um, I generally go with Johnny because it makes me feel younger. OK. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All, right. All right. All right. Well, welcome, Johnny. That's, that's awesome. Um, we are so, so, so glad to have you here. Um, you have joined us pretty much precisely one month into our quarter. So um, we will be trying to keep you as up to, up to date as of, of our progress so far um, while we continue our, our plans and our, our noble goals for the rest of the year. Um, another one-off item this week, I am proposing that we actually cancel this meeting next week because for one thing, it is an American holiday that some of us take off. Um, and also, Chris, I believe you are in transit in Costa Rica as well or somewhere, you're, you're in transit somewhere. Um, is that correct? You're in transit, right, Chris? Uh, I, my transit won't start till a little bit later, but I do have another conflict that is uh, right. required. Okay. Uh, yeah, I won't be here. Oh, all right, yeah. And, um, and this is sort of one of these like halfway American holidays. Um, so some of us take it off and some of us don't. I would suggest that we actually not have Monday's meeting if that is okay with everybody. That said, um, if you want to have an ad hoc chat, let's just hit each other up on Slack or via some other meme. Apologize in advance to anybody out there in the internet who, who might um, drop in on a meeting that doesn't exist. Apologies. Let's keep the notes dark and then we can just uh, drop anything into that if needs be. Perfect. Perfect. Now that's a really good point. Yep. Yep. All right. Just for continuity's sake. Um, I suspect that next week is going to be like just sort of more of the same of this week, to be completely honest. So that's cool. So, all right. Um, sorry, for, forgive me. I'm a little bit, a little bit out of it this morning. So moving a little bit slowly, but um, let's work through, um, let's work through our OKRs. One by one, um, recurring item, docs, beta, launch, content is migrated to the beta repo, which is awesome. All that content is in there. The next steps, uh, Chris, do you want to fill us in on that? Uh, on the migrated content? Uh, <laughs> no, well, no, no, beyond, no, no, beyond, beyond that. The migrated part. <laughs> I was going to say. Yes. Um, but thank what, you so much for, um, yeah, so the bits highlighted there. But uh, thanks a lot for getting uh, all the content in. That was mainly heroic effort by Jessica, so I'm um, sure you've, dealt with all the, the various typos and things along the way and uh, just minor corrections. I've seen that um, it's not only just a migration. Yeah, there's been a raft of minor corrections. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's um, not, I didn't do a close, I didn't do a close read of everything, but there are, um, there are just a whole raft of things that have been fixed. Yeah, so with that in mind uh, as well, um, you also have to um, just make a note that from here on out, uh, we are going to be, um, any content that does go into the existing docs will obviously have to be uh, managed uh, differently because we'll make sure any updates will get pushed to both areas rather than just being one uh, one way operation now. So, uh, but that's all in hand uh, from what I hear. Um, various things, so last week was mainly uh, to do with uh, various configuration to do with the UI and the app config itself. So getting the, um, the embedded uh, modules and setup so that we can have the Markdown plugins that are required. So now we have uh, embedded responsive video. Um, we have a ver various other things for like task lists, foot footnotes, and um, other things that we need for, for linking relative links and things. Um, so that's all configured now. 
uh, did some slight tweaks based on feedback to, for now, re re removing the in-page navigation between individual articles. We can still turn that on uh, on a page-by-page -page basis if we want, or a section-by-section -section basis. Um, it's just because our content typically doesn't have a more of a chapter style navigation flow right now. So it was a little bit confusing for uh, polling left and right between those things. So uh, the options are there if we need it, but we can uh, essentially um, turn it off in the meantime. Um, just this morning actually added the edit on GitHub link. So now we've got some um, continuity from the existing site and the opportunity to say to edit through and edit content. Not that we're expecting any of that yet because we haven't actually promoted this any further yet. It's just for us to have a, a shortcut to individual pages. Um, and then the bigger piece, uh, which is 342, if you want to drop that issue open, Jessica, it might be better. Um, the, that page, yeah, we're implementing the, the new uh, landing page for content that doesn't exist yet. So I've just started building up the components for this and the styling uh, based on the initial uh, design that's here. We had some discussions last week around how we're going to embed the uh, individual uh, resources so that they're customizable so you can link out to um, different uh, um, items for each page. Um, so that will be, uh, I've got a page here which I've broken down into various components, but essentially if you, the, the top area would be the main priority, essentially having the status bar and the, um, the links to uh, voting on whether that piece of content is important or not. Um, going to look at trying to use uh, Canny for doing the voting for those uh, uh, for that content for now, see if that works. If not, then I'll fall back to sort of a Google Analytics approach, depending on which, uh, what the results are there. Um, yeah, and these individual components will essentially be reused uh, throughout the site elsewhere in the future. So it, like, it'll eventually appear on here to start with, but we may reuse them on uh, what could be like a documentation homepage or some footer content. Um, uh, so that's going to be the chunk of work this week, but that was kind of overlap from last week as well. Um, and that's where we're at at the moment. Um, this one? Oh, sorry, I, did someone say something? Molly I, had a broke question up. about the accordion navigation. He, oh, the that, you don't have to respond to it now, but um, I was just curious, like um, the left, the expand as you click along versus the using either a right side accordion or other things like that. I'm just curious if we've like looked at what other people are doing because I keep getting confused. I'm like, wait, there's now another thing oh. below the thing I just clicked. Um, and so, I don't know, personally, uh -huh. I've, I've been found it confusing. Yeah, that, so that, we, that we, is we, where it, oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, you, you start and then I'll follow. I was just saying that, <laughs> so it is, I mean, it is a fairly standard pattern um, that you do see quite a bit out in the wild. It is something that we can test on now. If I'm getting this right, do you mean when you select a, a content chapter and then you see new headers appear next to it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that uh, we actually had some discussions around what we're going to do with this. So that, that is the default sort of out of the box uh, set up with this current scene. Um, it seems to work okay. It's, it's can, the good thing is that it's consistent across uh, a mobile and uh, a web-based layout because obviously you, on a mobile, you don't get the opportunity to have multiple columns. Um, so that's the main advantage of having it in one kind of long narrative. So you can, slide it out and you can see uh, what you need to quickly. Um, but when we have more real estate on the screen for, for a desktop, then we could potentially migrate that or, or just reposition it in, as an in-page nav. Um, so it, it's, it's a choice yet. So for now, I'm thinking we're just rolling with the defaults until we get all the content laid out and we start to feel how it works and flows. Um, but then, yeah, it might make sense for us to say, put that as a on this page type navigation. We just gotta make sure it's clear that you you see those links because they don't, they don't really need to be clicked on. It's more as you scroll through the content, then it highlights the position and it's more like a table of content. So um, yeah, these are, these are definitely areas for improvement, but um, yeah, that's kind of one of the things that, to look at. And uh, once we get the basics out of the way. Sounds good. Thank you. It's yeah. something, it, it is something that we'd be interested in testing on um, in the future. The, the nice thing about this is it is out of the box behavior at least. So um, it, it's also the path of least resistance for a lot of folks. So it is therefore a, a more common pattern. <laughs> yeah, we can override anything here. That's, that's, that's the, the, the big game, but we kind of, if we can keep to as many defaults as possible, then we, we get the uh, advantage that when we upgrade that we don't need to have to migrate and do additional customization on top of it. So um, the path of least resistance if possible. <laughs> 
cool, cool. All right, carrying on a uh, recurring item of the legacy docs deprecation plan. Um, you know, we just, you know, this, this hasn't really changed. We're continuing to add notes as we go along in the process of implementing the, the beta site. Um, that is all being tracked in issue number 308. So obviously if you have um, things you would like to add, thoughts on that, um, let's just keep track of them in the comments on 308. And as we get closer to launch, we'll um, organize those into a more, um, more organized way of, of uh, tracking our, our de deprecation plan. Um, metrics collection and definition for the beta site on um, Epic 2A. Uh, we are holding off on this until you get settled in, Johnny, um, and we're a little bit further on the beta site definition. This is the issue about just trying to figure out what metrics we want to be tracking out of the box when we ship the site. Um, so, so hold on to that space. So. Um, Recurring item, beta site, is this helpful feedback mechanism? This is pretty much in the exact same place as it was last week. We're, we're ready to implement this as soon as the site's a little bit further along. Um, usability testing, uh, no new testing this week. We have implemented all of the IA testing results from the beta site playground. So that is, that is more or less done until our next round of testing. Uh, we're gonna do some open-ended usability testing with PL staff in November. Um, so that's gonna be exciting to see how that goes. Watch that space. Um, obviously any community feedback would be more than welcome. Um, if you are joining us from the community, um, there is a link here to let us know your details. Um, to sort of step up as a beta tester. That's just so that we can be in touch with you when we start doing some more detailed testing. Um, carrying on, features voting, Epic 2D. We have the public facing voting page. Um, again, this hasn't changed a whole lot, but I realize I haven't actually showed this to anybody in the recent meetings, um, but we do have our canny page with all of the ranked, um, or, or the uh, encouraging folks to rank the features that they would to see our own internal um, features prioritization list, the ones that we knew we were going to do. Um, and so the intent is at launch to let people use this page to vote on the ones that they would like to see the most. I've been really socialized yet because it's it should go hand in hand with um, it should go hand in hand with the launch. Uh, Chris also is doing cool things with Canny. Yeah, your hand is raised. <laughs> I was just going to say quickly, yeah, we can uh, make that more of an official sort of roadmap uh, in the future as well. So you can flag those. So once something gets popular or it's on our development pipeline, then you can set it as in development and you get a nice little planned uh, notification on the county board as well. So when people do leave feedback, it's a bit more obvious that it's coming up in the future. Um, just a side note. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it, there's there's a lot of really deep integration potential with Canny, but I think just um, looking into that is going to be sort of a, a longer a longer exercise. Um, recurring item ecosystem audit. Um, this was our lone P two for this for for this quarter. Um, it's on hold pending Eric's workload with some external tasks. Um, so no changes on that. Content improvement. Um, oh, actually, Chris, if you have a chance, can you look at the feedback button metrics and plug those in? Can you get yeah. a moment? Can you explain just in case I'm missing it? <laughs> so we were talking about the, the hot or not button that we had talked about last week. You were going to just see if there was any new oh, yes. any change on, yes. that, on that since on a week-on-week -week basis. I did actually have a, a, I will, a quick I will shot if you... oh, Sorry. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, I did have a quick shot at uh, refactoring the analytics so that they would be a bit easier to read, but um, I, yeah, still got a bit stuck in the, in the loop in, in Data Studio, so I need to see if it's, if it's possible to do it the way we want to do it. Um, okay. okay. Um, in the meantime, um, so Johnny, for your benefit, um, the changes to content improvements um, to, the, to the existing doc site, we've split this out into two areas. One is user-driven stuff, um, things that we've been proactively reminded um, by users in, since taking over the Docs project. Uh, the other are legacy things that we um, inherited from other repos or just past issues um, that when, when we took over the project in the middle of the year. So in terms of user-driven issues, which we try to prioritize um, in the icebox, seven in soon, and one in progress. Um, uh, since last week, that means there's, there's two new issues have come in since last week, um, but we closed three since this week. And um, 
Johnny, this is probably, this item weekly will probably end up falling under your purview once you get settled in, just to keep track of this stuff. Cool. Uh, legacy issues, we've got 23 of them in the icebox column, 14 of them in soon. We haven't changed any since last week. Uh, the blockers on this honestly has just been um, team time on dock speed and launch. And then um, I want to make sure, Johnny, that you and I have time to onboard you in whatever way is necessary. So cool, cool. Um, any questions on that? Uh, yeah, Joe, just quickly, what is the ice box? Is that just stuff that we're yes. kind of like leaving alone for now? Yeah, yeah. There, um, so, so we're we're using we're using Zenhub um, internally to track progress on things. Um, I can walk you through this um, after this call. And cool. um, so, yeah, we've just been using an icebox column for things that, that we we know that we're not going to be able to act on um, immediately either because they're just they're too large or because we've got other other things that that out prioritize them. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, and then proto school stuff, um, guys. <laughs> Yeah, we're close, right, Joe? Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah. Um, Joe's been doing a great job on this, and I don't know if he's still on, but Alan did a great job helping with the proofing, and Lytle and Enrique have all been helping out with this, which is really nice. Um, and they all catch different things, which is great. So we've been going through, you know, Joe will build a lesson and I'll prove that one. We're always building the next one. And we have a lot of feedback that we just incorporated from those two folks. So we're getting close. There's a little bit more work under the hood on validation that we want to do before we launch. So we were planning on today, but we've decided to go ahead and spend the time now to take, you know, today and tomorrow to make some of those updates and then try to launch on Wednesday. So I've updated our comms plan with that and updated the date on the blog post already. Um, so we will hopefully get this merged on Wednesday and then also merge the blog post to go up that day as well, assuming we stay on track. Um, and then the other thing I just wanted to mention here is as this gets out the door, I will hopefully dive back into the task of um, looking at the IPFS camp content for where it fits in proto school and Johnny, the link that I just posted in the chat is the issue where I'm collecting like as I go through content from my PFS camp I'm dropping in ideas for like concepts that were covered in different lessons and where they might fit in proto school but these are also useful materials that there's a different OKR I think it's a P2 maybe if I'm remembering correctly um, for getting those things into documentation if they're not there so that will just be a, a good one for you to watch um, to see the kinds of stuff that I'm putting in there so you can see if any of uh, which things might fit well in the um, documentation so and we did add we did add links to um, all four core courses in both the existing the legacy and the beta doc site so um, those are just flat out links they're not deep integration but they are at least there yeah and we have now this a uh, new tutorial that's going out has Alan's course from IPFS camp in its resources page. Um, and that's one of the things, for example, that we would go back and do to a bunch of the other existing tutorials is add that particular res external resource to those ones as well. So cool. we're working on that one at the same time. Awesome, awesome. Um, we are running a little bit short. Um, it is 21 minutes past the hour. We can either continue to chat or um, give people nine minutes of their lives back. You can get yourself a lens up. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well All done. right. I think I think we're I think we're good. Um, just as a reminder, we will not have this meeting next week. If there are notes that folks want to share with the broader community, um, just add. I'll add another. I'll add a weekly heading. Um, for next week for the 11th of November in this document and we can we can update as needed just as as a as a, a, a check-in point so Molly ah I believe it is the middle of the quarter so middle quarter grading time is upon us I was just looking at my calendar and I have a, a handy dandy mid q4 review event that someone has added for me thank you to whoever did that um, but this is a reminder for us to all check back in on the OKRs that we set Johnny this is a great opportunity for you to see what what goals we've set for ourselves and and page in on them um, since you can help us push them over the finish line for the end of this quarter um, but reminder to, to take a scoring pass through by the end of this week so is there no a <laughs> Uh, it, is that in the main spreadsheet? In the main OKR spreadsheet? Where to score them? Yeah. 
There's yeah, a column just, for it. Mm -hmm. And so we do actually two scores. We do what are we actually at and then where are we projecting to be? So this is an opportunity to like intentionally set some things down that we know that we're not going to get to um, or refocus some of our energies onto higher priority items so that we really land our P0s instead of um, getting even coverage over P2s. Um, but, but that kind of lets us also iterate faster on our estimates for ourselves right. of like, ooh, yeah. we thought we were going to get 1.0 on this. We ended up getting 0.5 useful feedback loop. Yeah, I just want to make I just want to make sure that the only place we're tracking those um your, your where you need those tracks is in the central spreadsheet, right? Yep, and um, that's the place we we coordinate back and forth between groups. Perfect. Okay, cool. cool. All right, wonderful. Um, well, <coughs> um, yeah, and good point, Eric. We'll also what um we'll also update that in our main in our main re, uh, readme because we list in the readme for the docs repo, um, our. No, that's not in the browser that I shared. Um, we do actually track these in the docs repo readme as well. So we'll update those there as well. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I think we can call the recording good for now. Um, do you mind? Oh, 